belongs to quote unquote white man. The white man is you. <laughs> well, you, got, you, got, you know, even even that. The white man, black man paradigm. This is back to the whole point of people needing to know about the Wigamo party, which why we have to keep bringing it up. You know, you know, it's sort of like this, Dr. J. You know how like uh, some things we have to repeat redundantly because you see that uh, many of the people are still being deceived by their so-called black leaders and you see them still using the nom de guerre terms to their own detriment and not knowing that it's detrimental. And you'll see uh, people um, knowing that it's false, but they'll continue to use it as if it has no injury, knowing that it makes the people not descendable. You know, where the people will in minute, one minute tell the people that they're Moors and they'll go right back to the black codes and then to promote it. They really don't want that to die. See, it's, you know, it's sort of like um, um, they're, they're, they really don't want some of these problems fixed because then they won't have what you would call their hands in the people's pockets. And many of them are angry at me because what I, as you already know, you've been around me for years. I don't try to make people followers. I always try to give people information that liberates them. And that puts them on a path where they start thinking for themselves and then take this information further. However, what I do stay with is certain fundamental principles when I see that the people's concepts are below a certain grade. You see me bring them up to that grade, but you won't see me try to hand feed them after that. You won't see me trying to make them what you call followers. Because then it gets corrupted. You want them to, you want them, you know, like if you're going to teach somebody carpentry, you don't want to be going behind them every five minutes holding a hammer for them. They need to learn to hold their own hammer. No different than, you know, like when you, you have your, 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 your offspring. You know, you have a joy feeding your baby. You know, um, the mother has a joy feeding the baby her breast. After the baby gets a certain age, mom says, you know, you got to come off the breast and here's a spoon. And I ain't holding it for you. You know, it's like, it's the same principle. And if you really look at the problems with our people, particularly in North America, they're, they're still in that mentality of looking for someone to follow as opposed to learning to follow and maintain certain principles. Then coming together in strength on principle and getting things done and not interjecting their personal agendas. But again, you still have people that are parasitic and narcissistic that come along. And that's part of our problem. You have a lot of narcissistic and parasitic people who only look at this platform as a source of what they call for themselves income. Uh, when that's not the purpose of this platform. The purpose of this platform is actually the liberation of humanity. However, people also recognize that there's so much injury out there and you'll see them still trying to do what the Barristers Association did, trying to seize upon the people under the guise of helping them when they're really trying to make the people subservient to them. And they're, they're angry because I don't support those type of people. Although a lot of those type of people come around me. And I want you all to know that um, though I associate or I know some of these people, uh, we are not like them at all. Um, so there's a couple questions that came up twice, and they're probably by the same person, but they were asking, an individual rather than another person, but they were asking about solutions. Let me see if I can find that one to bring it up. It may not let me go back up there to it. Ooh, my apology to the one who kept putting that in there. Folks are asking how we come together, how we unify. I, I it will it, it will come by the nature. This is what I was going to come. Remember I've always said, I said that our people will come together and not because there's a lack of information really, really, really. And not because certain truths that are needed have not been told. They will come together out of pain. And the reason they'll come together out of pain is because they're going to have to accept some of the things that I've just said in past and present. And that is accepted the fact that many people who came into this movement 
are in it for their pockets. They're not really in it for the liberating the people. And you're going, you're going to have to sever them. I can't make you sever them. You keep supporting them, and therefore it keeps on stagnating yourselves because it, because it promotes dependency. True liberation doesn't de promote dependency. You know, when you look at the term in the Septuaginta, or in the Bible where it says every man, every woman, and every child must confess their own, that means you must be capable of claiming your own birthright. You must be competent. And this is why certain things over the years you'll see that we have redundantly spoken of. Um, at the same time, for those who have been closer to us, we've had what you call longer conversations where we could go into what you would call more detail. But our platforms are what you would call bullet point platforms of lectures can't accommodate that because you need what you call actual study class. And I'm appreciative that brothers like uh, Maurice Eel, uh, uh, Lamont Maurice, yeah, um, Sister Tracy Gay, uh, Gail Day, um, have you know um, Light and others have um, started study classes of their own. Um, Rama Eel, you know, um, many of the. Is that the one that I just blocked? Uh, yeah, many, many of your, many of your um, uh, brothers and sisters in the Moore Science Temple, um, Sister Diana, Chicago, um, Sister Chung, Diana yes, out in, in California, yes. yeah, um, Brother Nature Eel, Nika Eel, Moore Science Temple, um, Grace Hill, Moore Science Temple, you know, Asbury Park, New Jersey, um, many, many of them. Uh, have uh, established school systems within the structure of their temple according to the prophet's instructions and are teaching what you call detailed information or logically when you have uh, refined studies where um, you have more of what you call controlled dispensation of information a lot of more details will come out and of course that would be an extended education uh, to establish erudition which is very good and necessary, but you you can't um, dispense a lot of what you call refined shop like information in a platform like this. That would be in, that's impractical. In other words, instead of um, uh, our people establishing all these marching and praying organizations and funding them, you need to reestablish your own schools. You know, just like um, Grand Sheikas de Rib Bay, she established a school. It's been running for years. We're teaching the children online. That would be more refined, etc. Um, and so it's Moors out there who've been doing the work, um, and they've been attacked by newcomers who have really done nothing or just in it for their pockets. Uh, and usually the trolls usually come from those sources. That's the truth. Need to stop trolling and start getting to work, but make like yeah, you said, work. many of them work. You know, they're agents, so they they can't do nothing. That is their work. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that's the and work. They, want, they really see. It's like this. You know, like um, it's sort of like this. We try to share information that people stay away from that um comes in the area of real wake up calls to get people courage enough to let things go. Because people have a tendency not, they don't like what Rome does to them, but they are unwilling to let Rome go. Um, and they try to serve two camps or two masters. And that has been the problem with most of our people. You know, like our people will say, you know, what do we do to uh, promote unity? It's very simple. Let Rome go. You know, but you know that people aren't willing to do that. So it's on their own terms. But that, However, don't you think we're being forced, though? Yeah, thing well, as, that's as, where the pain we're comes We're being in. forced because Here's of the all of the... Now, now I, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, right. but you know a couple of days ago, because you heard the conversation or a day or so ago, mm -hmm. with someone who was off the continent in Southeast Asia. Yes, we know. In Southeast Asia. And I will be coming to you. You all, listeners, for some support. I gotta figure out how to do it so that it won't raise a lot of what. Yeah. But this particular individual is 
is I advertise them here. They have a school there in Southeast Asia. And when I tell you that we think we have it bad here, this brother has not eaten since August 22nd, I want to say, because they're shut down over there totally. If you don't have the jab, you cannot come out of your there there he's been subsisting now, on a water diet and now the water is out because they thought it was gonna be two like two weeks. He hasn't eaten, he is he's not, you know, drinking water. They can't come out the door. When they open up the door, the policy enforcers are are on guard. You can't come out of your house, your domicile. So we think I don't know if that's a foreshadowing. That's part of that's part of the pain. And the other part of the pain is like uh, Remember uh, we, we, when we were teaching for the last couple of years and we were telling the people that uh, the nations of the earth would stop buying U.S. Treasury bonds and you're going to have a feedback loop? Mm -hmm. And then they're going to start eating, you know, machines going to start eating up the credit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, the warning was for the people to prepare for what they're experiencing now. And you see them introducing it little by little. is because the systems are collapsing. Um, then the people now, and then look at this, look at this. Um, it is a known fact that the, um, the United States corporation company and contractors have been funding their private corporations with what they call, call national debt. And they called, um, foreign aid, which were all platforms were actually stealing from the people under the guise of being legitimate government, feeding it back to themselves, to foreign corporations, etc. Problem. The Treasury bonds, the UST bonds that they've been selling around the world on the stock market since 62, 1862. The world has finally gotten to the point that um, it's not in their interest anymore to continue to play the stock market game with the U.S. corporation because it's it's killing their economies, etc. And so that's where the feedback loop is coming from. And this is where it became by necessity and pain for the United States Corporation Company to go bankrupt again in 2019. And as you know, it was forestalled with the Motu Proprio issued by the Pope of Rome who owns the corporation. In 2013, which we shared then. At that time, we forewarned the people then. Uh, so the things that we were showing them then are manifesting now. Uh, those who listen start doing things differently. Uh, as an example, start expanding what they uh, stop buying or less buying wasteful things. Start buying silver, as an example. Uh, gold, but particularly silver, knowing that ultimately that's going to be your ma major trade back, back up, etc., and that is the money, etc. Um, and those who didn't listen, or who would, um, how do you say, be more uh, preoccupied to criticize, oh, uh, that's redundant. It was redundant because the people weren't listening. Uh, and now that the doo doo has hit the fan, People are looking for what you call unity and stuff when the platform for the unity was established in 1913. The fact that all uh, the people hadn't listened to the prophet, you know, that's people's choice. Uh, some did, some don't. Some chose to be passive, some chose to be active. So the active ones appear to be in adverse with the passive ones. So the active ones are enforcing constitutions. The passive ones say the prophet didn't teach civics. So to the public's view, they look like a split. And it's not a split. It's people who are really for the liberation and people who are not. Yet they all say they love the prophet. They all say they want our people liberated. When the fact of the matter, let's accept the fact. Everybody don't want our people free, including people that look like you and me. Let's be real. And a lot of people... You know, pretend to love our people when they they only came on board because they lost their jobs because the Europeans, hybrid Europeans, businesses are collapsing, and so they came on board and looking for an opportunity to suck on the people playing fake lawyer because they work for the bar association, 
which is the enemy and created most of your problems in the first place uh, and are trying to get thousands of notes from our brothers and sisters um, for things that should have been taught to them decades ago that are basic to nationals, basic such as trusts, such as comprehending what government is and what government is not, such as comprehending fundamentals of common law, comprehending the sentient living man and woman distinguished from person, corporation, distinguishing uh, the fact that the United States Corporation Company is a private foreign company that's bankrupt and is not a country. And so when you start getting to the information exposing this stuff, because most of them are leeches in the platforms of the institutions that have been raping our people, logically, they don't want people like me or me talking like this or redundantly putting this information out because it's telling you where your root of your problem is. If you fix the root of your problem, the rest of the stuff will fall in place. This is why over the years, certain principles, as you already know with my writings, I've written about many subject matters, but you'll see most of my conversations is focused on the civics relative to these, to these institutions and the contractors for these institutions that have been robbing our people, stealing their birthright, and murdering them with genocide principles, etc., under the guise of Planned Parenthood, human rights services, and stuff like that, when all of these institutions are actually doing the opposite, aside from selling uh, um, helping families, etc. They have been in fact selling baby parts and killing your babies and using them for food and there were other purposes too. And they've always been doing it. And for you, many of you people out there pretending that you didn't know that this was going on, keep on pretending. However, for the few who listen, become active and not passive. And also, stop, stop giving your thousands of notes and energy to, um, how do you say, Johnny come lately opportunists who are in this movement for one purpose. And that's because they have nothing else to offer. And they want to continue to keep our people in a dependency position, pretending to be helping them. There's a question out there, okay, how do we establish jurisdiction? How does one establish jurisdiction? Jurisdiction is a natural fact. Now, uh, for those of you who are out there, understand and comprehend that there's levels of jurisdiction. Uh, in personam jurisdiction is relative to this being, the physical. Subject matter jurisdiction is relative to whatever subject is concerning, uh, whether it's about persons or property, uh, so that be corporate entities, inheritances, um, estates, um, private property, private rights, um, uh, private liberties, unalienable rights, etc. Or even where you have privileged uh, dispensations, etc. Subject matter, uh, law, status, international law, etc. Status that would be um. Uh, subject matter jurisdiction and you have what is known as territorial jurisdiction and that would deal you would deal with uh, whether you're recognizing uh, the co-warranty operations of any government um, alleged official whether he or she is legitimate and that would deal with uh, national principles or the aggregate land etc whether uh, um, a being who claims authority actually have that authority that they claim. So that would be in the nature of Toronto. So that'd be um, territorial. So you're dealing with aggregate land, uh, ag ag aggregate, uh, aggregate provable jurisdictional ba uh, uh, boundaries or territorial jurisdictions, et cetera, like that. Like my fence. Making it clear. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that would be territorial jurisdiction. So how would, okay, and, and, and in my case, so I'm establishing that that fence is that on my be, property because I have be, paper. That would, be, sir, that would be determined by what? A survey. So I have a survey that shows so that. now you have what you call, you call your latitude, longitude. Now you have your cosmological, right, degrees of measurement, you see. So if someone 
wants to and, and, and establish jurisdiction. Now, of the trespass is when the line is crossed. So now, when you want in, either, in, in any of the three instances, mm -hmm. so for, when it's the person, when it's the being, yeah. when it's the being, when it's this flesh, yeah. how does one in personum, in personum establish in, that, that's called in, in, in proper in pro person? Okay, in proper person. So, so when you hear the term in proper person, what it means being in one proper person uh, um, in personum okay. jurisdiction, that would mean if someone called you an elephant. You would not allow that to stand without a rebuttal or without what is known a declaration of error or rid of error. You say, I am not elephant. I am pedigree Moorish. Territorial American. That would be in personal jurisdiction. All right. So that would be proper person. Um, if you would, uh, if someone called you black and you did not rebut it, then that would mean they trespassed on your birthright and you did not oppose, rebut, reject, and that being who would be doing the trespass would usually do that with the intention of trespassing against your rights, liberties, or hereditaments. That is the purpose of branding. Comprehend what that is. And this is where proper person argument would come in or what would be known in an international